name is Brian King. I'm a professor here at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. And these fine students are my MQP students. MQP stands for Major Qualifying Project. It's a project completed in their senior year where they're encouraged to embrace uh, what they've learned over the past four years that they've got and demonstrate that they have indeed a sense and a mastery of, of engineering and the practical and the technical aspects that, that go into it. Uh, for this particular MQP, I've encouraged the students to embrace their imagination and apply some creativity to uh, an exciting project. In completing their project, the students are able to demonstrate that not only do they know a lot of mathematical formulas and they manipulate integrals, but in addition they can, uh, they can solve a real-world problem and bring things together to an actual working prototype. So it is my pleasure to introduce to you the MQP group Magic Mouse. To my left, starting with Mike Cretella and Jeff Tucker, followed by Jeff D. Maria and Jamie Mitchell, and last but certainly absolutely not least, uh, Chris Banker. In today's world, there is a growing number of applications that utilize 3D coordinate systems, such as CAD packages, video games, and other programs like Google Earth. And our project's team goal was to develop a more advanced method to navigate through these three-dimensional systems. The mouse as we know it has been in use for over 40 years. It is cumbersome, relies on a flat surface, and the only significant advancement it has seen is the addition of the scroll wheel, which provides only a limited degree of freedom in the z-axis. Our design of the low-profile, intuitive mouse that is wireless and can track in three dimensions virtually eliminates the need for the old mouse. There are a few current products and designs that have similarities to ours in that they provide an intuitive interface between the user and their computer, but most of these products can't track in three dimensions and all of them are fairly large. The user has to pick them up each time they want to move the cursor, whereas in our design, the user can move straight from typing to cursor movement. So basically what we have is a ultrasonic transmitter right here. It's a transducer. It's basically just a, a speaker um, that you know, vibrates above human hearing frequencies. And so that speaker transmit this, transmits a signal over to this array. It hits each microphone ultrasonic transducer over here at different times. And our electronics over here figure out what those different times were. And uh, through a time difference of arrival analysis, Creates 3D coordinates from those difference from those differences. When when we get that, we can send it to the computer in standard mouse uh, protocol and have the uh, the depth, the z-axis, go uh, map to the scroll wheel. And so then you have a plug-and-play mouse that you can use in pretty much any application. The device plugs into your standard USB port in any PC. It doesn't need any specialized drivers or require any advanced setup. You just plug it in and it goes. Our mouse doesn't have any buttons on it, but buttons could be programmed into the firmware as mouse gestures. This would allow the user just to point and virtually click with their finger. There's no additional software that needs to be required for, for the use of the mouse. You can just move, move along the z-axis and it will uh, emulate the scroll wheel. You can move in the x and y-axis and it will translate that to mouse movement on the screen. The mouse is a ring that's worn on the user's finger. It contains circuitry to produce pulses of ultrasound, which propagate through the air to the receiver. This device is powered by a lithium polymer battery, which is small and flexible, and is wrapped around the user's finger as a ring. This battery is rechargeable and provides over two weeks of continuous use on a single charge. So we're uh, getting started on pursuing a patent for this product. Uh, we feel that it's innovative enough that it could uh, be put on the market. And uh, in the future, we feel that this could eventually replace the normal mouse. The receiver array consists of five ultrasonic receivers placed in specific positions in space. The ultrasonic pulse that is sent from the transmitter is converted into an electrical signal when it arrives at each receiver. The front-end analog processing circuitry amplifies and shapes these small signals into a form that the microprocessor can sample efficiently. We've basically spent about a month doing that kind of research and really finalizing and weighing the costs and benefits and uh, ultrasound came out uh, as a clear winner. Uh, we really wanted the device to be as small, uh, low power, discreet, uh, pretty much as seamless for the user to be able to 
to navigate a 3D environment with. The goal here is to obtain as many sample points of each curve as possible. The sample pulse width is one millisecond, and we need to know down to no microseconds. To achieve this high level of accuracy, a method of curve fitting was implemented. The curve fitting will shift a stored version of the sampled shape until it matches. We use an algorithm to simplify a complicated set of equations to a manageable level for implementation in C, which will take in our five delays and output three coordinates. We thought that this would be pretty usable for CAD programs in which you're doing three-dimensional modeling and you want to mess around with a, you know, your three-dimensional space, but you only have a two-dimensional input. And it'd be extremely helpful to be able to uh, make inputs that are three-dimensional in, in that form. Also, there's uh, you know, file systems that are three-dimensional be useful for that. Um, in terms of you know, video gaming, you need to do practically anything. And uh, basically, in terms of applications for the actual device, I mean, you, can, you can do pretty much anything you can set your mind to applications are endless. Well, I think we can all agree that this has been a great experience. Uh, we've had the opportunity to work on a real design problem that's important to us and that we really care about. And I know, for at least for me, this has been the most important part of my WPI education. Uh, it's been a chance to work in a team towards a common goal and work on solving difficult real-world problems. Even though the year is almost to a close, uh, some of us are sticking around this summer and we plan to pursue this further um, to perhaps add more features and uh, bring it to the next level so that you know, hopefully we'll have a working product that we can patent.